Right. Um, I said in the title, lots of people ask me about paper, and um, I'd start by saying one thing. If you think it's about paper, then it's not. <laughs> but people get hung up on paper, and it must be this and it must be that. It's a production mindset, but, you know, that's not me. I'm not really about the production of it. Um, I'm more interested in, well, you know what I'm interested in, capturing the essence and the, and enjoying the process, uh, regardless of execution. That's that's always my aim. Um, I'm just showing you these two because these are completely different papers. Um, it's always with homemade charcoal, this stuff. Um, and, um, it, you know, it was... As you can see me putting them into these things as I get down to the smaller end. But generally, it's 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 this stuff. It's just uh, hazelwood. Um, um, but in terms of the paper, I've used so much, and I tend to use whatever's to hand. I don't think it's... I wouldn't go out of my way to get expensive papers. Currently, I'm using this, which is... Um, as you can see, it's quite thin. I think it's 170. Um, it's got no real uh, bite to the surface of it. I'm trying to show you, it's no, it's fairly smooth, but it's not like a calendar smooth, like a photocopy of paper. Um, and and you can't really see. Um, it's sort of off white, as you can tell. Um, this is the current one. That's not this one. This one was the recycled cartridge. I'll show you that one as well. But it, it's like a, um, I don't know. It's it's kind of like a. It's, it's just like a, a normal um, uh, paper that you'd find in an exercise book, you know, in a, in a kid's exercise book. So it's nothing special. That, that's the current one I'm using. Um, this was, that one there was this one, which is similar, but if I hold it up, you can see, can you see through it there? Look, you can see it's quite, you can see the pulp in it. So this is really cheap. This is recycled cartridge. Um, but it's not got, it's got a bit more bite than the one I've just shown you, but it's simply the fact that it's just a recycled cartridge. Um, as you can see, you can, you can literally see the pulp through it. Look. So it's, this is really cheap stuff. Um, I've, I've used occasionally things like this, which I've just ripped out of a, a cheap sketchbook that I found, but um, this is smooth. There's no, you can see it's quite thick as well. You can hear it. It's quite card like, but this is, this is very smooth. Um, and the thing with smooth papers is that you lose the density. Um, this is a smooth paper. Look how gray that is compared to this. You lose the density. If you're talking production wise, you lose density. I'm not really bothered. I'm just more bothered about the, the drawing. And, and, uh, I, I try to work within the, um, uh, the way the paper responds. So this paper responds in a particular way, and you'll see it around the eyes. I'll show you close up. Um, it, you'll see it around the eyes, how it works. You can see there, look. I like, I like all that. So I'm, I'm working within what the paper will do. Uh, similarly, that one's a different, it's much more contrasting. Let me try and get there. That's much more contrasty. Um, and you can see that the, the tonal areas are more, uh, you can see the actual charcoal lines. This one, you're going a little bit more, because it's going a little bit more blending type of thing with that. I'll show you what that paper is in a minute. Um, and then uh, I've used this stuff, which is straight copier paper. Um, it's just something you'd stick in the photocopier. So I've used this stuff. Um, it's very smooth. You get something like that effect with it. Um, but, uh, but as I said, it's whatever's to hand. So I've got, there's four papers there that I've used. And the fifth one is this, um, so I'm struggling with the paper. That one there was this, this craft paper. This is 17 GSM, you can see through this stuff, it might as well be tracing paper. But the thing that, that was interesting about this, which I liked about this, is that it flowed, um, the way that it took the, paper we, we took the charcoal it look how thin this is it's like it might as well be tissue paper but the way that this flowed on you can you can see it look you can see it this is not biting at all this is very smooth and then when you smudge it 
look what happens. You get this fantastic kind of almost like wash like effect. This is there's no surface on this, so this isn't gonna this isn't gonna um, uh, create sort of you know the thing when you use uh, textured paper. You get you get the the dot off divots or the you know the, the there's the charcoal sits it's like watercolor paper when watercolor you use sedimentary colors in watercolor you get the sediment sitting in the you know and you create all kind of textural effect i don't really like all that i don't want the paper to get involved with what i'm doing i want it to be as anonymous if you like i just just be facilitate my joy but that's that's a real cheap stuff though that these are like two pound a pad these things you know so uh, but that was i forget where that came from it's just a, it's just it's one of these you know supermarket things um children's um children's play paper that's all that is but across the board i think i think I, the, the point i'm trying to make really is that it doesn't really matter it doesn't really matter just draw you know again to, that's the that's the, one of the uh the thicker ones you know i've just cut the i've just cut the, the what's names off it you know the the uh, the ring holders so i've just cut the ring holders off that one so that's that one so uh and then this one's back to the uh um the the the, the white one the the kids stuff that's what this uh, kids stuff on that one so again you get a different completely different a different effect um as i say it, it's just it just doesn't really to me it doesn't make an awful lot of difference again that's the two completely different ones that's on the that one on the right there that's on the uh, the recycled cartridge that one and that one on the left there is on the kids stuff that's the uh, the kids uh sorry about that that's the kids play craft paper so as i said it's a different different feeling but i think the most important thing is that you, you kind of work with what the paper does you don't sort of try and make it do something else or, or to become darker or whatever you just work with what it does most of these are just on recycled paper that's another one on the kids stuff that's on the kids paper again and that's on the uh uh the the uh, recycled cartridge but as i said i work on anything another one on in fact i think both of those are on the kids no that one's on the current one which is what i'm using at the moment but that one's the the kids cartridge again the kids uh, craft paper um nice to get this sort of smoothness of it all um but as i said it's uh, i don't really um put a lot of store by the paper because i'm not i'm not into the production side of things so you know this thing of being able to uh, make things perfectly smooth and uh, you know blend and all the rest of it i'm not really um that kind of uh, artist i'm not interested but i do like and you can see on this one i do like if i you know if, if i do like when you uh, work with what the paper will do so if the paper makes these kind of wash like marks because it doesn't it doesn't basically um uh, uh take the charcoal so it allows you to sort of smudge the thing then i work with that and equally if it doesn't if it's just a um a very um linear thing and it just takes a, almost like a sketch then i work with that you know so um it's about being present i think more than anything else it's about being present with what you're doing um and uh, working with that it's not a uh, it's not something I get too hung up on. If you know whatever's to hand, I'd say. Um, but it's it is it is a a thing. I know people get sort of hung up on Bristol this and Bristol that or Strathmore, whatever else. I've I've actually never used anything like that. Most of these are the not these are the uh, um, these things I whipped out of a. And I don't know where I got this from. It was just, a, you know, when I go in shops and they've got A3 sketchbooks, I just, I just buy them, and then use, you know, use it. Whatever it'll do, it'll do. You know, um, I don't, I don't want anybody to get sort of hung up on. Oh, if you, if I haven't got the right paper, I can't do it. You know, I used to be like that. That was my, that was my thing. You know, all those years ago when I stopped, I was about the paper. You know, or the materials. You know, and then it's not, it's not about the materials. Never, if, if ever it is, then you should rethink your approach because it, it's not about materials, it's about something much more important than that. And uh, you've heard me banging on about that in other, in other uh, uh, videos, but uh, generally, as I say, um, 
I'm, I'm about to run out of the the one I'm currently using. So watch this space. I mean, I'm, I've got some of the other stuff, so I'll just use those. What I'd used to do, funnily enough, was that I've got the this. This is why I do the drawings. On here, I still do it as well now. I actually put different papers on here. And uh, and as I work through it, it's a, like, it's a bit like paper roulette, you know. So so as I work through it, I just it just changes. And what happens is that you can see there's the there's the one there at the bottom is the uh, is the one that, with the perfs on the side of it. Look, and uh, it goes through various types of paper. There are different colours and, and things on here. Um, but I like that. I kind of like that. It's like you know. So, Every time I start a drawing, it feels different, you know. Anyway, that was it. It was just a quick kind of what kind of paper do you use? I'll use whatever I can. I have to hand basically. That's the uh, the uh, the upshot of it. Sorry, I just knocked the camera. Right, I'll catch you in the next one.